the Trojans were looking for the series sweep against Southeastern Louisiana in game three on Saturday, but came up way short in the loss. So I was really proud to get the series. We missed an opportunity that you don't get all the time. Winning the first two, that's hard to do. And you got to capitalize in that third opportunity, and we failed to execute on that to get the series sweep. But again, give Southeastern credit um, that they fought back and got that win. Despite 11 walks and 16 hits and a 19 to 4 loss to Southeastern Louisiana, Troy still managed to take the series 2 to 1. We had several guys struggle to throw strikes, and that's a concern. We've got to get uh, more guys that can go in the ball game and throw strikes and give us a chance. So, um, you know, in some respects, getting your tail beat, you know, it's kind of a just flush it and move on. The Trojans had to move the lineup around throughout the weekend due to sickness. We had some flu run the team. We had four guys out Friday. Uh, we had uh, all of them were kind of back today, but they were not ready to play in. So we were a little shorthanded, but I mean, it's just part of it. Uh, you got to you got to play with who's who's available and uh, the. the that certainly had no impact in the outcome of any game. The Trojans are also without their four-year starting catcher, Chase Smart, with a hamstring injury and looked to freshman Caleb Bartolero to get behind the plate. Caleb had a great weekend, man. He got picked up hits. He drove in runs. He did a great job behind the plate, so there was no drop-off whatsoever. I'm really proud of him as a freshman uh, stepping in there and, and keeping it moving forward, uh, which you expect your backup players to do. Um, Caleb's a good player, and uh, you know that'll probably I'll probably try to get him back there as much as I can. The Trojans look to bounce back on Tuesday when they take on Tennessee, who leads the country in lowest ERA. Nick Brooks, Troy Trojan Vision Sports.